Okay guys, so I'm live again with a two minute delay of course as an anti-cheat method. Welcome everyone. Uh, I am Vini Vidivici and I'm joined here by Chicks today for a duo commentary cast. Hello Chicks. Yes, welcome. Good to be here. I what hope you guys have, have been enjoying uh, the Vinny Vidi uh, VC commentary earlier today. Uh, I understood that um, he uh, casted quite a few games. Um, I imagine, you know, uh, he's been here since this morning. So I'm here to help him uh, commentate. Yeah, in fact, we had uh, Lord uh, Imperialist versus Galvis, but I wasn't <coughs> able to finish that stream. It was previously, and before that, we had Shimas versus Fart, and before that, Nagayumi versus SNS Jack. So now we will be streaming the match of Chell versus Heroes. Uh, one of the last round of 16 matches remaining and uh, of course BO5 again uh, winner advances to the round of 8 so we'll have to see how this will play out <coughs> as you see by the way I uh, got this new tool from uh, from Vega and it is called the scoreboard so right now I will be able to update this so you guys will always know what the current score is between these two players. Yeah, definitely very exciting. Uh, this should um, answer the questions for people who uh, who have that, um, you know, it's one of the most uh, popular questions that you see in the comment section, you know, what is the score, what is the current score? So that way you get the scoreboard and uh, puts all doubts to rest. Yeah, I moved here in the center right below the edge up. Of course, you can see the edge up on the right side as well. But uh, just to make sure that you see everything. Um, so far, we have here, of course, Great Plains starting off as the first match of this BO5. And Absolutely. As you uh, see here, we got Chal versus Heroes. And, uh, of course, in the top corner there, we got Russians, uh, Heroes in red. He's got uh, two starting mines and uh, a few hunts there. Uh, quite a far away, but uh, he can. they're definitely hurtable. Uh, looking at Orange here at the bottom corner, he is playing French, uh, Chal. And uh, it looks like his map is actually pretty decent as well. He's got uh, two mines, however, his mines are forward and his opponents are backward. Uh, now looking at Orange's hunt, actually I put the hunt in favor of Red. However, uh, it's definitely playable with uh, with two hunts that he's got uh, the deer and the buffalo. Yeah, indeed. He has uh, Red has one hunt more to uh, two of these buffaloes, but of course Chal could go uh, for earlier herding or at least bring in the second big buff buffalo hunt later on. Bison hunt effect, sorry. Definitely, and he's going for the 70 XP now. That should get him his uh, three courier de bois uh, treasure earlier, meaning that uh, he will age up earlier as well, which is nice versus the Russian player since uh, we could probably be expecting a rush or a contain by him. Uh, that's because uh, Chow doesn't have uh, that great of hunts. Yes, so we see yes. indeed that uh, Chow is starting with a market, so that is going to be a little bit of an economic boost. Very standard for French. And we have indeed, like Chick said, uh, two options for Russia. They can either rush hard or go for more of a uh, map control and contain from there. And if Heroes is able to scout the map of Chell, he will definitely go for something like that because, of course, the food is not the best for the long run. Uh, there's some nice treasures here. Uh, we're looking at 95 wood there in the back uh, by Red Space, Heroes there. Uh, it's quite nice. I don't think he scouted it yet. Uh, he is going, there's a cow there that he just scouted now. And yep. uh, it looks like uh, Chal at this point already got hunting dogs since his uh, villagers are back on food. Yeah, we see that Chal also scouted the 75 coin on the left, so I assume that he is going over there. Or he might be able to pick up one of these. No, he's not going for a 320 XP treasure. He's probably going to save it for later on. And going straight towards the 75 coin where Heroes is also going. So this is going to be interesting. Who will be able to get it? Yeah, I think that um, Chow will definitely scout that. Now, I just wanted to talk about the matchup here now. Uh, Russian versus uh, French is actually quite unique in this tournament. Uh, I think that's the first time that we, we've uh, we've uh, witnessed it. Yeah, that's indeed true. Okay. I think it's uh, yeah the first <coughs> time. Yeah. Chow just picking up the 75 coin here. That should uh, definitely help out. Yeah. Uh, as you see, Heroes was trying to microverse the Guardians, but he was actually way too far from a treasure. If you take a treasure, uh, especially if you play versus French with two scouts, always be sure to be close to a treasure before you kill the last guardian and not so far as he was at this point. Absolutely. Especially when the treasure is there in the forward, uh, on the side even, you always want to be close to the treasure. Now, if the treasure was like behind your base at the start of the game, that's a different story. But in, in this kind of scenario, you definitely want to be close to your treasure before you pick it up or uh, shoot the, uh, the guardians. Yes. The 95 route is still in the back of Heroes, but like you said, I think he hasn't scouted it yet, so he maybe will pick it up later. 
a little bit of a skirmish going on in the center of the map, but of course Heroes wants to scout more of the map, but he has only very low HP left, so he has to be very careful not to get trapped by the scout and the Hero of Shell. <coughs> now we just see uh, Red uh, herding that buffalo there, and it looks like he only wants one herd. Uh, so is Chell, he's only got one herd as well. Uh, should be sufficient. I'm not sure what uh, Russian is going to pull off here. Could be um, a very hard rush, a contain, or perhaps just a defensive strategy. Yeah, uh, like you said about the matchup, uh, I want to give a brief introduction about the players first before we're going to go into any fight. Of course, we have Chell here, which was one of the very old pros and uh, one of the very uh, very best players of this of this game. And he was now coming back for this uh, tournament and uh, practicing a little bit. And uh, it seems that he's still in, in, in decent shape, in uh, very good shape, in fact. Of course, game knowledge and stuff like that doesn't just disappear. On the other hand, we have Heroes, uh, who has been uh, a little bit inactive as well, but coming back for this tournament also. I believe he's playing StarCraft 2 a lot. And this is an interesting guy because um, while his multitasking micro is usually pretty good, he often goes for very weird strategies. And <coughs> with weird, I sometimes mean like you don't understand the strategies and uh, not my preferred option. But just because he does th these weird strategies, he's sometimes able to surprise his opponent and make weird things uh, still successful in a way. So it's really interesting to see what he will do in this uh, in this case. Okay, it looks like Hero's going to lose the Explorer, and yes, I do agree with you. Um, actually, Chal used to be a very, very good player back in the past. He used to be one of the top um, uh, Iroquois, and he did play some Aztec. He was actually one of the top uh, Iroquois players a few years ago. I'm surprised he's not playing Iroquois nowadays. Um, I did see some French and Sioux from him. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how well he performs. He It is around his first month back or so, and... Yes. Uh, He's really just climbed to the top and been doing very well. We have a very late blockhouse here coming up for uh, for Heroes. That's one of these uh, these these changes that he's doing uh, in his builds. Uh, he's building it now with four villagers to get it up fast, but he has it, of course, quite late. That means, of course, also late uh, musketeers out and, uh, and everything. Now, that was a late there. age, and I would say uh, definitely a 17 villager um, age up there. I think it is 14. Yes, it is, it is 14 villager age up. Ah, uh, 14. Okay, well that was rather late. Yeah, he builds the blockhouse really late uh, indeed. Uh, he prefers to get some more economy, of course he has the market out and that means okay. he's probably also going for steel traps rather fast. Just getting some map control with this blockhouse, not really going for a rush early on. I mean, if I was him, I'd probably age out 17 bills if that was the case, uh, if you're going to build it that late, but... Uh... But that we'll will have to also delay your Cossacks even more so. But we have here Chell, of course, only... Well, of course, I say of course, it's actually one of the options. Either going for a stable first and for villagers, as he's doing now, or the 700 would build with both a Rex and a stable. He is going with the stable only, and then he will, of course, be able to deal with any early pressure that the Russian is putting off with just using villagers, town center, and perhaps Mirman if needed. Yeah, um... Now that Rex of uh, Heroes, I wouldn't say it's very defensive nor aggressive, it's just uh, neutral. Yes. Um. So Michael going on here, uh, we see that the Musketeers are coming in, that's why Chell is pulling his cavalry to the back. Yeah, he's, he's probably going to put some villages in there to mix. Yes. Uh, that should do okay to sink some damage. And yeah. perhaps he's got another 5 Hussar popping out of that stable now. You see that my Heroes is putting his uh, Musketeers in melee mode very nice, and also the micro of Chell is very good here because he focuses his villagers on one Musketeer, let your Hussar finish it with one hit, and then focus the villagers on another Musketeer, not wasting any damage. Very good job there. You gotta be very careful in using your villagers in combat because they're supposed to be gathering resources, and if you don't gather the resources, you're not gonna pop out those Hussar because they're very heavy on food. Yeah, interesting here that Shell is popping the 700 coin shipment and Hero scouted it, so that means that Shell <coughs> is going for a fast fortress. A well semi fast fortress because he made some Hussars. Uh, and that means that, okay, Hero is pulling up a second blockhouse there. Well, there's two options now for Chell. He could go fortress or he could continue to make Hussar and send 700 wood uh, since Heroes did scout it. Um, so those are the two options available to him. Yeah, yeah, but if he would go still for 700 wood, then of course he would delay his wrecks and stuff like that and he would really have an excess resources that he doesn't use. So I think he's still trying to go for the fast forwards, maybe raid a little bit with the Hussars and trying to defend with the town center and villagers. He has no trading post though, so this is really an interesting strategy. Maybe Heroes added a second blockhouse just to be able to spam really hard from both blockhouses and keeping the pressure on. Of course, these villagers are doing a very good job, as you see over here. <laughs> uh, he even upgraded the attack, not just the HP, so they will do a very good job dealing with these musketeers, as you see over there. Yeah, those are insane villagers. 243 HP with a 40% resistance. Yeah, that's why um, they were so good for his infantry, because of the resistance that they got. 
And as uh, Chicks mentioned earlier, these villages can be used for some battle here, but uh, if you do that for too long, you won't gather any resources, and that means that the other guy is still gathering resources in the back and is okay to lose some units then. You definitely want to use it in moderation. That's what it's all about. Um, now, you, you got, uh, as you just mentioned, you know, you gotta, they're good at uh, fighting. I mean, they do have quite a bit of a ranged attack and range resistance, so um, I wouldn't walk them anywhere, but if they're attacking you as a defensive stance, you could use them. Yeah, uh, we see that uh, Heroes is now bringing in the other hunt, and he shipped 700 coin. So it looks like with all the villagers on food, he is going for this mass 2 barracks musketeer spam. But I would really like him to add uh, a stable soon. There we have 700 wood being shipped, because of course when the French is in the third age, you can expect skirmisher shipments coming up from the town center. Right. He was requesting for a pause there for a moment. Uh, we see that he shipped the 700 wood as I just said, so I'm really curious. I think he will add for sure a, cause, uh, a stable and now, maybe even a trading post as well. Could he perhaps make a trade post or a stable or even make strutlets? Yeah, I think he will use it yeah, for sure for the stable, like I said, and a trading post would be nice as well. But also, indeed, mixing in strutlets is of course very nice for these villages because musketeers get picked off quite, uh, quite easily, as you see there. Uh, he better put in some uh, low health villages inside the TC immediately. He did lose one there. Yeah, he lost one, but he has a skirmish now, the 8 skirmish shipment, so he's definitely going to be able to take out these musketeers. I'll, and I'll, I'll put that explorer in hand attack, perhaps pop out the, the rest of those uh, musketeers, if he did uh, think of that ahead of time. Yep. Uh, now, regarding the villagers, he really needs to watch them, because uh, he does have quite a few low health ones, if you notice. Yes. And, and um, <clears throat> that's dangerous. Okay, he's he going for Kureshes now, so... Kurashe skirmish is going to be the combo for the day for him now, but we have a stable coming up for Corix, for Hero, sorry, and it looks a like stable he for heroes, right? Yes, and um, right. you got Chao going for 320 XP. That should send him another card. Yeah, Hero's going for uh, a side raid, it seems, but he will have to uh, be very careful. It looks like he will engage. It is a good battle. He needs to push his uh, skirmisher there in the forward. Yes, Hero shouldn't take this battle actually, and we see that he's microing his cavalry back now, and the okay. will go in, in the range room <coughs> again. Yeah, it is a good him. battle to take. He just needs to micro the cab properly yeah. and make sure they're not uh, in hand attack for too long. This is a very big waste by heroes, throwing your musketeers away like this when you can expect the skirmishes still being there and of course the, the courageous. Uh, I really don't like this move out from him. Maybe he wanted to go for a raid, but that's not the right time to raid. And of course, yeah, Chao was working on this treasure there on the left side, so uh, he was already in position. Having 320 yeah. XP is on the <coughs> shipment ready also. Now, economy-wise, um, it, it is obvious that uh, the child is ahead. Uh, heroes just wasted too many units early on. Uh, two villagers, I guess you could say, since he upgraded those Courier de Bois, making them very resistant to the Russian military, um, which can take which takes a big hit on the score in economy-wise, because uh, you know you're not killing enough units to sustain your economy ahead of uh, your opponent. Yeah, we see that these two blockhouses here are now doing a very nice job at holding off Chell. If it would, would be one blockhouse, then Chell would definitely uh, charge into this, I believe. But now he is waiting and uh, probably waiting for his two cannon shipment or at least more units to pop out. And Hero is now shipping 600 coins, so he really, I think he's going for a huge mess in the second age instead of aging up. Interesting choice. I'm not sure if I really agree with it, but that's like part of these weird POs that he just sometimes does. Well, perhaps he shipped the coin to make more uh, Cossack for, for the cannons that will come up for the French player. Yes, but um, if you have a lot of Courichets, you will be able to kind of protect from it as well. So it's, it is a definitely an option. Yeah, that's true. There we have two cannons shipped by Chill, by the way. And more Courichets. Right, and so Heroes essentially is thinking, you know, hey, listen, I'm going to make a ton of Cossack. And so when I see the, the, the cannons and the skirmishers, I could pick them off. Because, of course, Cossack here is a good option for the Russian player. Yeah. Uh, they do okay versus Corsair, they're not their counters, and they do good versus Skirmisher as well as Cannon. Yeah, the main, uh, the main idea for the Cossacks is indeed to try to pick off Cannons, but also, if you can use your Cossacks to block the Corsairs, it will mean that all your Musketeers in the back will do a very good job. But otherwise, your Musketeers will die to the Corsairs uh, faster, and thus uh, left, have, left, has, have, left, sorry, have less total output damage. Right, I agree. He did lose a, a Villager there in the back, uh, put his Villagers back in the Town yeah. Center. Um, now, regarding Red, he needs a bigger mass if he wants to deal with uh, the French player's army. I mean, uh, he does have a lot of Corsairs. Uh, <clears throat> almost a flank there by Heroes, he attempted yeah. to go for the cannons. Indeed. He is now trying to arrest his gold mine still, and he's just massing Corsairs, but I mean Cossacks. The thing is, he's losing another blockhouse now, and that means that he really needs to get up a second block, a third blockhouse near his, uh, near his town center, or he's going to lose the option to make any infantry, which he definitely needs for his Corsair. Right, yep. any wrong move here by heroes, and it's going to cost them the game. 
Yeah, he's he doesn't trying want to lose leave. any Cossack or any military uh, to those cannons. Yeah, we see that another blockhouse is being built there next to his town center, but he has to be really, really careful how to, he's going to engage this and how he's going to approach this. If he wants now, to fight this, he needs to get his raiding cavalry back <coughs> as well. Even though Heroes is behind, if he picks off those cannons, I think he'll do okay. He'll yes. definitely do okay. But um, there's more crochets coming in. Yeah, a lot of curse here, but he doesn't necessarily have anti cav so I think if he just flanks them, yes. see how they're unprotected right now? Yes. I think if he sends some from the back, some from the front, he'll be able to um, flank the cannon. Yeah, indeed. Uh, he is still using his town center fire with 90 now, as you see, putting in 10 villages max out now, it's just 45. Uh, I would really like to see his town center being used on either crochets or the cannons. Uh, he's deleting the blockhouse and he's going for blockhouse in the back. Uh, these Cossacks are not going... Oh, they're going for a nice raid. Maybe if they get off these villages there in the center, that would be huge. If he sees it right on time. Um, even if he did, I think he'll just send the villagers in the forward and just probably pick one or two. Yeah, and looks like Rose um, will find <coughs> it. Uh, and yeah, as he I said, he'll probably pick one or two villagers. Well, I guess he's not moving them. Uh, I, I don't indeed. know if he notices. But also, if he moves his Courage to deal with the Cossacks, then the other Cossacks from Heroes from the front will go to the cannon, so he can't really deal with it at this point. Okay, there we have the Courage coming in from the home uh, town, and of course, five Courage yeah. will deal with eight Cossacks. Well, as it is, he did pick off four, four Courier de Bois there, that's huge. Yeah, and we see that Chao also uh, shipped the uh, Courage card in the third age, now having 34 damage and 575 HP for this beast. Beastly oh, damage. yeah, that, that's definitely very, very hard for a Russian to deal with. And here we go, I think we're going to yes. see a flank for the cannons now. Um, I would okay, like to see the Musketeers like he's put in melee mode all right away and Mirman popping out. Without Mirman, he's not going to be able to get it, but he will get a flank on the right, left side with the Cossacks. Taking out one cannon, I think. No, well, good move by Chell. Uh, right just not good enough. But he will I get. Mean, yes, he's, he's going to lose too much military here. Yes. Yeah. Too much. And uh, Heroes is not um, not able to deal with it. Yeah, look at all these Kurochets, they will just completely destroy the second age army of Russia. And that's actually why Russia, very late madman by the way. Absolutely, it's like slicing through paper. Yes, that's why Russia does really need either good mass and, uh, or age up. If you age up, you can of course have access to Dragoons and you have access to upgraded Musketeers. But also this all comes down, well all this comes down usually to the fact that Heroes lost like 15 or 20 Musketeers on this left side for almost nothing. Imagine if he had this still with his army, he might have had a chance. Yeah, that's still... true. He didn't He didn't do enough damage early on. He just didn't do enough damage, and that's what caused him the game, really. He, uh, I guess, underestimated the Courier de Bois. I'm not sure what the case was. He didn't see that they were upgraded. Yeah, they were upgraded indeed, so they do pretty good 11 attack per uh, per shot. So, And he microed very well also in his first battle where he used his Courier de Bois. He was making sure to not waste any fire. He targeted the Musketeer when there was like 10, 20 HP left. He targeted it down with the last Hussar and moved, uh, used all the other 10 villagers immediately on another Musketeer to get that one down to like 10, 20 HP. And sending, of course, with so many Courichets, sending the Cavalry H, uh, H3 attack and HP, HP card is yeah a good job there. With some skirmishes behind, you see that only 8 skirmishes behind is doing so much. If your Courichets are able to block anything, then your skirmishes in the back will just destroy these Musketeers together with the Courichets. So yeah, well played by Chal there. So uh, making it 1-0 now. Yeah, an interesting match. Russia versus French. You don't often see th these kind of matches. And I think uh, um, <clears throat> Heroes was taken by surprise. Because I'm not... As far as I know, he didn't think that would... Uh, I don't think he would be expecting that. Um, especially since you don't see this in the tournament. And he was probably looking at tournament recorded games. See how to play against Iroquois. How to play against Ottoman. But not necessarily how to play against um, French. You know, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, that's a bit interesting. <clears throat> I don't think he was prepared for it. Yeah. Well, Heroes did, did play indeed uh, a lot, but he's kind of uh, a little bit stubborn in that way. He just want to play Russia and not uh, any Aqua or stuff like that in this tournament. But of course, it's going to be really hard for him. However, Chal is going for French and not for Aqua, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a good matchup. It's a good matchup. Um... Although sometimes I would put Russia in an advantage because they have, a, on this map especially, because they've got the, the C deck and they have Blockhouse. Yeah, and, I indeed um, think that. But then again, the French guy can still go for this uh, semi fast fortress with a little bit of a raid and then come out with cannons and courageous, as we saw uh, Chell well, doing in the last game. So. Um, 
<clears throat> well, well, I mean, Russia versus French does better on Saguenay than they do on uh, Great Plains. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But I mean, his Seaboom is not easy versus a French in the third age with Courchets and Cannons on the way. But he can definitely defend and get, go for C. I think he will actually go for C on this map. Well, you know what? We'll just have to see what Chow pulls off here. Because, uh, I, I mean, French is very versatile. And they could do a fast fortress, semi-fast fortress. Uh, they could put up, pull off a lot of things here. So, uh, Yeah, it definitely comes down to scouting again. If he's able to scout the water, then he will for sure go for a third age, uh, and otherwise he might go for a second age agenda. Though knowing Chal and seeing last game, I think he will go for a third age, uh, regardless of what Heroes is doing. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, uh, just let me talk about the map here and looking at uh, Orange here. Uh, Chal playing the French on the right side. Uh, players start with a plantation, both of them. And for Orange, he's got uh, a single mine to start out with, a back gold mine. And uh, looking at the hunts, I guess the hunts are decent. He's got moose and uh, elk there close by and a starting uh, deer. <clears throat> and looking at uh, red here, he's also got a starting mine and a back goal mine, uh, about the same distance as his opponent. And uh, as for the hunts, they are right about even. He does have uh, moose and elk there at the bottom. So uh, the map is looking pretty good. It now, seems that Chow has of... one more herd though on top there. I'm sorry, who? It seems that Chal has one more hurt on top there, uh, beyond the Ah, uh, that's correct. He does, yes. Uh, as you can see here, I guess the deer was glitched out by that uh, that post there at yes. the top. But, um, yeah, Chal does have one extra herd. Um, it will definitely help out in the later game. Um, however, Heroes does have all the sheep on his side, if you take a look at the sheep distribution. Yeah, yeah he has already three sheep, four sheep, and he's now going to get uh, two more there. And depending on how you will scout, he will indeed maybe get two more in fact in the left side of the map. By the way, we see that Shell is scouting with the sheep on top. I uh, covered this uh, uh, a few times and there he also now knows about this herd and the coin mine and the 80 foot treasure for later on. So good job there with the scouting sheep. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not even about a good job or not a good job. I mean, he, eventually he will scout them and the sheep are on his side. Um, now, if you're looking at Chow's uh, child side, he only gets four sheep on, on, on his side of the map. So, uh, of course, Chal is going for that uh, Iroquois tomahawk there. It is <laughs> a nice treasure. Yeah. Perhaps pick off a villager, harass, whatever the case. Yes. We see it here. He's going for 60 wood on the left side while indeed Chal is still trying yeah, to Yeah, 60 wood is nice. Um, I think he'll be able to. Well, as for Russians, I'm not too experienced with Russians. Um, perhaps he could cut less wood uh, on his way to the the next stage for the market. Yeah, he definitely has, uh, has to cut less wood. He needs to get the market in a blockhouse depending on what he's going to do with early C or not. So let me quickly take a look at his deck. It is indeed going to be a C deck for heroes, so he might go for this defensive position and then boom on C. Uh, Chal, on the other hand, has uh, a C deck as well, but of course uh, French is not really a C civilization, so he just has the ships in his deck, the warships. Well, I'm not sure if defensive is the best strategy. I mean, he does have one other elk there. So we might see a blockhouse right there in the middle of the map where all the hunt is. There's a, a three packs of herd there, um, elk yeah. by the water. So we might see the blockhouse there. I mean, that is a pretty good option. Yeah, and uh, Hero is now chasing this count of Chell down, but uh, it looks like Chell will get his sheep barely. No, not. He's going to delete it. No, he's. Yeah, he, yeah. he deleted it. Yeah, he got it. Uh, of course, bad to delete the sheep then to give it to your opponent. So in that case, if you can't bring it home, just delete it. Uh, he, he saves his scout as well, and he will find these two sheep here on the bottom. So uh, no, the can... tomahawk actually. You know what? What's weird about the tomahawk is they have they have very very low line of sight. That's what I've noticed. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, very low line of sight, and they're a ranged unit as well. Okay. Didn't which really, I find uh... quite odd. Yeah. Anyway, he's going for, uh, I guess, just for the XP here. Uh, he, he's going to get a cow. Well, a cow, of course, in, uh, in like six minutes will be uh, fully f uh, fully fed and <coughs> 500 worth of food, so that's still quite uh, quite nice. I mean, there's not right, much I else know. to take at this point. Oh, there's wait. a courier of water treasure there that uh, hero just scouted. That's yes. an, also a nice one. And 95 wood still on the map, uh, right uh, to the middle pond there. Yeah, and I think Child just scouted it. Uh, he could have missed it. It looks like Hero is going to find the cow of Chal. <laughs> if he does so, 
then he will get 500 food there for free in a little bit. But he's barely, no, he's going to miss it. He's going to walk away. Yeah, I don't think people or the players here in this game um, are too <clears throat> picky on uh, on the cow here. We have 80 XP also for Chell now, and Hero's finding the two sheep on the right bottom there. That he now notice, home. notice how Hero's decided to make a defensive blockhouse, as you said earlier. Now, um, and he has a dock, so yes. perhaps... And the problem really is, if you have the, this aggressive blockhouse, you can of course take map control in the center, but then the uh, French guy is able to take it out quite easily if you go for a C-boom. Right. And if you have a defensive blockhouse, you will just be able to hold out a little bit longer, so... Right, now what I was thinking, I was thinking perhaps he could have an aggressive blockhouse and just play aggressively in Colonial without the water deck, but uh, it looks like here he will go for water and defensive, so... Uh, <clears throat> we'll just have to see if Chow does scout it. He did scout the defensive yeah. blockhouse, Indeed. but I don't think he scouted the dock. And he's now going to harass his villager, just as you predicted there, with the tomahawk and the hero. Although the tomahawk is not being used yet. User joined your channel. By the way, we see how heroes is moving his sheep back, uh, all to the left side of this map, to the corner of this map, instead of uh, to the middle, just to make sure that Chell is not able to uh, scout these sheep and then uh, lose it. This cow of Chell is still uh, idling out there on the middle of the map, uh, chilling there instead of going back to his base. Ninety foot going to be picked up by Chell anytime soon there in the middle. Really curious that Heroes didn't go for it, but Heroes is now scouting Chell. He sees the stable, he must have seen the four villages pop out. And Chell is this time going for a Rex as well. Yeah, I think I think Heroes scouted the, the Rex as well. Uh, um, as he was building it, he scouted it, so... Okay, 700 <coughs> being there instead of the four villages shipment, uh, so he will go for the standard BO of uh, Barracks and Hussars. And then so if Heroes indeed scouted the Rex stable, he knows right away that uh, Chow is going to commit to a colonial battle. Is this correct? Yes. Well, yeah, I think so, because you don't build a barracks and stable so early just to go fortress after it, so that is correct. That's However, right. his timing was a little bit off because he uh, left too soon, and that means that he indeed doesn't uh, know about the Rex, I believe. He has two docks, though, spamming a ship, so we're still making some musketeers as defense for his raids. Uh, what Hero still can do though is still uh, boom on, on C and make another blockhouse and go in full defense uh, with his town center there. I got a question for you, Vinny. Now, the last match was won by French, right? Yes. And who was playing French? Yeah, chill. What do you mean? And he's playing French again? Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. but you can't play it twice in a, in a row. My this mistake. is the second game. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> it's the third match, right? Yes, so this is the second match, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, my apologies. No so problem. back to the game then. Uh, we have three Hussar. Was that a shipment, do you know? No, he made it. He made just three Hussars. Maybe he was trying User to trick your uh, channel. Heroes. I'm not sure. Or he did I a think you know what? That's your a channel. good strategy, matter of fact. Tricking with the three Hussar. I would have thought it was a shipment. And, yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, it's very unlikely to be a shipment, but I'm not sure if it was tricking because he also had only three musketeers out and he should definitely have like five musketeers in the second batch. I'm not sure what Shell is doing, it seems like he's sh shipping 700 coin. So that means that he might even go for an age up still. But then he, why did he go for the 700 wood and the barracks stable early on? I mean, that would not be the best choice then in my opinion. Uh, I want to check there. <coughs> well, he is uh, running out of food there and he's go he does have a herd at the top, so... Um, he you should be now, okay, it looks like, but his base is running out of a uh, herd. Yeah, and if he doesn't run out of the herd at the front there, he's going to have to go in the forward. Yeah, he still has to bring that home indeed. But we see that Hero is now building a blockhouse behind his docks as a very defensive uh, yeah, blockhouse there to be able to deal with any ships that would, might come from Chell. So far, Chell hasn't scouted his water yet, but he will do now with the line of sight from his SSRs and know that Hero is going for full water. Uh, there we have a little bit of skirmish there, the heroes musketeers were put in melee mode and your stars are trying to run away from it. I'm uh, I'm hoping to see I'm hoping to see uh, two caravels. Um, two caravels will definitely defend the position for him. Yeah, but I don't think, uh, to be honest, it's near at that point. I, I, I wouldn't waste a shipment on my two caravels right now because this blockhouse and any units that you have popping out, he has five musketeers on the left side, will be able to defend first this, I think. So I'm not sure why, I mean if you ship two caravels you will be defend the water side, but that's not the important thing. You will defend your water side anyway, I think, at this point in the game. Um, so Chell did make a few more units there, a few more musketeers, but I think that he is... I would assume that he's aging up. I mean, he's not going to get much done with this army that he had out, of course. Now at first I thought that was, uh, he was tricking his opponent, but now that I see it, 
He might have <coughs> just missed his BO a little bit. Anyway, we have two ships from Heroes. Will he find this tower that uh, Chal is making here? It is barely out of line of sight. But these ships prevent uh, <coughs> as a preventive measure for Chal uh, shipping his ships. But Heroes is not using his ships. As soon as you ship your ships, guys, move them to the outside of the base as he's doing now to scout anything around the water, any tower coming up. And there you yeah, he did indeed find that tower. Now, I'm just hoping take it Chal does something, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uses his military for something because he does have quite a bit. Yeah. Perhaps he could raid, sneak around the left or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, is, it is indeed, he has an, an, an one angle and that's on the left side of this map trying to uh, rate on that hurt. On the other hand, he might think like he doesn't get much done and maybe he wasn't, he doesn't want to risk getting trapped uh, as well. So he only has like 10 musketeers, so I think he's yeah, he to save for 95 wood. And perhaps he can go um, to the next stage in Fortress since he does have quite a few villages on gold and has yet to make any Hussar. Yeah, and there and you there see him now. edging up. Fast Fortress, no skirmishes this time. And Heroes is now adding a blockhouse here to take more map control, kind of what you suggested earlier on. Although the hunt is now hunt is now away, but he will get uh, map and more sea control with this additional blockhouse there. Also, it will, of course, delay uh, Chal a little bit in his push because Chal is likely to go for this blockhouse first as soon as he has two cannons. That means that Heroes has a little bit more time with the additional blockhouses to do what he wants to do. I would again like to see the ships being spread out along the coast, one for example like here and the other one for example on top, just to make sure that Shell can't do anything on water. Now this is definitely not looking very very good for Chell. I mean he is in Fortress Age and of course he got Russia on water, um, typically unharassed, some sheep in his base and uh, looking pretty good in, in position. So really the only thing French can do at this point is kind of like just mass military and cannons. Cannons, yeah. skirmisher and cuirassier, but I don't think it's going to be enough versus the Russian mass. Indeed, um, you can get a big mess out, but Chal ships uh, eight skirmishers and he wants to push out a little bit, but of course there are two blockhouses now being built, so he can't push in on that. I think he's going towards the town center and try to see if he can get any damage done there, but it's going to be really, really well, hard of course, for him. Also because the caravels is there, so yep. th there's no chance of pushing. Of course, Chal still has the uh, frigate available units. in the third age. Yeah, as I thought, he would deposit his units in the ship. Yeah. Uh, the frigate in the third age, combined with two cannons, might be able to take out this position from Heroes if he uses all his army, the two cannons, and the frigate on this uh, exact same point. Um, but it will I be still wouldn't think so, and I see where you're coming from. It's because Russian has two blockhouses, three, and they got two docks. So really, Russian has secured the water. Um, what I would suggest here, I would suggest cannons, because cannons have longer range than the caravel. However, um, the frigate, what's so good about the frigate is that they have long range. Yes. And they could kill the cannons. Now, in this case, what I would suggest for, he, uh, for Chal is perhaps build an artillery foundry and just keep making cannons. Really, that's the only opportunity that I see here. Your see channel Chal was is edited. Now putting, it, putting it on the left side, uh, pushing into the back blockhouse from heroes that he had the uh, first up the nearest town center he will kill one villager maybe a second one maybe a third one in fact a second one for sure going down and a third one as well there no villager hp yet for heroes i believe oh yes he has sorry yeah and uh heroes also going on sheep so um i haven't seen him on coins so it's probably we're not going to see a fortress sage anytime yeah, soon he has some boats on coin but that's more to get in each some coin there we have uh, seven coin ship in coin, actually. but we have two stables up and with the water that he has in the big economy although the scores are still pretty similar he can pop out like 10 cossacks at a time if he really wants to and that's something that can surprise shell here with having so few anti cavalry I think if he goes for this with me and men and Cossacks popping out, he will completely destroy this army of Chal. Chal is really, really going far, 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 far forward and it's very risky what he's doing at this point. Absolutely. Russian has two two options. Uh, either to pop out all that military or go straight for a fortress. Yeah, and we see that the five more Kurochets that were trained are running uh, past this blockhouse and that means that the back Kurochet is already losing half his HP to both blockhouses without having done any damage so far. Interesting that Heroes is not making any Cossacks so far. Yeah, you know, I think he decided to go for Fortress Age with that coin. Yeah, that <clears> might be the case indeed. But I he don't might think lose that was the smartest, the smartest idea. I would definitely at least fight a little bit here to delay this uh, sieging so he can get to the Fortress Age as he's trying to do so now. No man man being popped out yet though, that's very uh, something that is not uh, good here. There we have a hero popping out in the third age and there we have man man as well. Of course, now he can lose his town center because he can just build a new one and have the shipments available still. 
Uh, these yeah, houses okay. are kind of blocking heroes, as you see over there. Yeah, the Russian town center in this case, when you have full water, is not important. So you can just build a town center uh, near the water, no yep. problem. As long as you edge up indeed. And there we have some Cossacks popping out, and we might even see a Cossack shipment coming from a town center anytime soon that he still has available. Uh, yep. We saw, of course, that the Caravals again uh. were able to pick up some of these Corsairs, or at least some of these HP of the Corsairs, I should say. On another note, um, I don't know why Chal is still sieging that town center. Yeah, I think as he should go for the army as he's doing now, but... Yeah, he shouldn't be sieging that town center whatsoever. It's absolutely useless yes. at this point. And, um, you know, he's just losing too much. I agree with you there. We have a two-cannon shipment coming from the blockhouse that will for sure deal with this army. And then Heros is able to push out on Shell. And we see now a 20 score gap, by the way. 30 almost. And these Cossacks will clean up these musketeers, uh, these skirmishers. Not upgraded yet. He will upgrade it anytime soon, I expect. Yeah, very, very hard matchup here for... Um, very hard match for Chow right now because uh, you have, of course you got uh, heroes full on water. You got unlimited coin there, and there's no chance of taking water away from him. Looking at how many blockhouses he's got there. Yeah, indeed, that's the case. Um, this is it, like you said. It's uh, it's just hard for French to, uh, to come back from this. Uh, I believe that this also comes down a little bit to his, his, his starting. I mean, we first thought he might trick with three hussars, but after seeing the three musketeers instead of five, I believe it was just like a weird bo, BO or just a bo mistake there. And then of course you invest in some units which are just worthless, and you might have better been off going fast fortress age or maybe three hussars and then fortress and then using cannons earlier. Yeah, what we've seen there. Um you said cannons earlier. Were you talking about the French player? Yes. Yes, I do agree. Cannons earlier. Perhaps in artillery foundry? Yeah, perhaps um, even, yeah. I would put full, full villagers on gold and just go full cannons. Uh, cannons, Cursair, Skirmishers, Gugu Dragoon, whichever com combination he wants. And just push on those blockhouses and the caravels there. Uh, it's very hard for Russian to deal with cannons in age 2. Yeah, especially since, of course, the French guy has map control because Russia is completely defensive only on the water side. And if you have Scorsese available, you can raid a little bit, but you have more map control early on at least. And that means that you can gather freely on these gold mines available on the map. So Heroes is going to go for a push now. He definitely needs some more musketeers, I feel. Otherwise, these Scorsese will just kill the cannons anyway. Uh, but maybe something will pop out from his two forward blockhouses anytime soon. But you know, if Chal does a good job, he could use those Dragoon to flank the cannons, of course. Because Dragoons are ranged. Yes. They have a bonus versus cannons. And they could just stand outside the Musketeer range and pop out cannons. So that's what's so good about them. Yeah, we see that Chal's um, going to lose one villager there. And now Heroes goes for the Kalmuks. And of course, that's his very good anti cavalry versus Ah, uh, wow, very nice. By the way, we see on the right side Heroes having some villages gathering on Chal's side of the, of the map, but Chal now notices it when he goes to his coin mine, and he immediately pulls his villages back. And Hero I also noticed control. those uh, Kalmuk uh, shipment uh, puts a lot to the score. Um, what was yeah. that, 30 points? I'm not sure exactly how That's much you need. It costs 1k wood to make those guys, and of course you need a church, and you need a church card as well, but uh, they are really worth their weight in, in uh, not in gold, in wood in fact here. <laughs> But they're really, really good units. And yeah, I also they're very good units, Cossacks. absolutely. Uh, 300 hit points. It's interesting that Chal... Wait a second. Did Chal ship his cannons? No, he didn't ship it yet, right? He still has cannons available. Yeah, absolutely. He still has cannons available. He okay. hasn't shipped yet. Yeah. And um, I was hoping to see his cannons a long time ago, but I guess it could be his next shipment. Yeah, I definitely think he needs it, because if he doesn't use his cannons anytime soon, he's really gonna lose I his don't battle. Think I don't think Chal knows he's got Kalmuks right now. I don't okay, think he yes. knows that. But he cast his cannons completely off guard. He must get uh, totally out of that's position bad. there. That's he's going to pick off his cannons too easily. Yeah, although, <laughs> look at his crochets. They're not really getting to the cannons. Wow. Maybe this he micro, miss micro is yes. not looking too good here for, for Chal. I mean, he just went around the cannons. Yeah. I guess he did ship his own cannons and shot them off that way, but... But he has nothing to protect it, no? no I... Yeah, he definitely underestimated that uh, engagement. Um, yeah. Um, yes, indeed. He a little bit of a miss micro. I feel not sure it was due to lag or something else, a misclick or something. But he was going in front of these cannons, and he could have definitely taken them out. But uh, then you saw Hero still popping the musketeers in melee mode there to deal with the crochets. He sincerely underestimated that engagement. Um, uh, of course, he didn't see the Kalmuks. Very good job by Heroes by hiding them there. Yeah, he hit them very nice in the back. That was a really good job indeed. But I, th I thought he was going to lose the cannon too easily, but I guess it turned out to be in his favor. Yeah, but this, he got a little bit lucky there. But this all comes down to an uncontested Russia on water. Also, of course, as you see on the bottom, going for the trading post as well. And Chal kind of... 
either it is a, a, a mistake in his bo or just a weird choice of going uh, versus this because seeing the dog uh, not scouting the dog early but seeing the very defensive blockhouse you won't be able to push into that very easily so a little bit of a mistake by Chell there in my opinion yeah i guess he uh as I mentioned in our last match, I don't think he's too experienced versus Russia. Um, I mean, in the last match, he did use the Courier de Bois properly, but this this matchup in general, Russia versus French, we haven't seen it, and I don't think he has seen it much either. Nah, and so that, that he wasn't too sure what he was is, uh, going on he there. He played for so long that he should be definitely uh, know <laughs> about how to play versus Russia. I, I, I can't agree with that, sorry. He... You know what? I didn't know. I've seen the chat about the double markets. That could have been the case. Uh, I actually didn't really see or mention double markets. Now, regarding your comment, Vinny, um, it's been a few years for Chow. Um, but yes. I think that's my, my opinion on w but, what but I'm observing. But having reached such a good skill level, you don't really... <clears throat> You don't really lose that. Of course, you have to get into the, the game regarding BOs, and that's why I see that I say that he might uh, messed up a little bit in his BO there. But regarding decision making for uh, how you face such, uh, how you deal with such a matchup, how you deal with water, yeah. Well, well, you're right. It all comes down to decision making, and uh, and scouting. I mean, it, we've seen them both take effect in this game. Okay, so uh, we're good to go. It is now currently one one in this BO five. Uh, Chal taking the first map, Hero is taking the second match, ma map. Yeah, um, the game looks like another mirror. And we're gonna have... Or not another mirror, another same match. We're gonna uh, have uh, just French Russia for the rest of the evening. <laughs> yeah, um, of course, uh, you know, I guess some of the viewers could be excited because... Uh, uh, you know, it's Russian, French, European At civilizations. There's not, indeed, there's not much Ottoman or Arca. We've seen that a lot already. <laughs> and besides, uh, French is definitely one of the best realizations from Chal. And maybe he's like, okay, with French, I should be able to beat Russia anyway. And I'm very comfortable with French. And also, why would I go for a uh, kind of lamer civilization if you feel that you're probably the better player and then uh, can just win with European matchup? So credits to him if that's just his uh, thought process. And then we see another French, German, I mean, French, Russia game here. All right, here we go, gentlemen. So uh, in the top corner, we have Chow playing the French in orange, uh, starting gold mine and two hunt. Got a hunt in the front and a hunt to the side and a starting hunt. Now looking at uh, red heroes playing Russians again. Uh, we've only seen Russians being played here for heroes as well as French for Chow. Uh, he does have a starting hunt and... Uh, wow, his hunt is not looking too good. He does have two herds, but they are... Uh, quite a ways away from his town center. Uh, we'll see how Heroes likes his map. If he doesn't like it, of course, he does have a restart available. He does have one gold mine and a gold mine in the back, whereas Chow's got a, um, four gold mines in the area. <coughs> yeah, so, uh, well, the, the gold mines are very similar. I mean, the, the, the fourth gold mine of Chow is very far up front, same for Heroes, but I think both have three in a decent position, one in the back and two in the uh, range of a town center. Indeed, the herd is a little bit be uh, better for uh, for Chow, but this herd on Siberia is definitely, <coughs> you can definitely herd it towards your town center, so I don't think it's that much of a problem for heroes at this um, point. Yeah, uh, the, the gold mines, the positioning of the gold mines are quite even actually, sorry about that, but the, the hunts is definitely in favor of Chow. Um, however, on this map here on Siberia, uh, you do start with uh, a tower and f you know, four sets of berries which makes the, the map a bit more balanced um, in terms of the berries since you know sometimes on the other maps where you don't have berries you don't have starting hunt uh, there's nothing to rely on however here you do have berries so um, it makes it a bit more balanced just in case you don't have hunt to uh, the extra hunts outside your base yeah, of course, we also have to keep in mind, you also have to play according to the map. So if you uh, have, they both have uh, at least one big herd available and they can, they can kind of herd the other one. And then from there on, you kind of have to get map control and play according to it to secure your next uh, resources. We see that uh, Chell, of course, using the scout uh, that French gets uh, from the start to scout the map and having found 90 wood there is now going to take it with his hero. Uh, the hero yeah, so far only that 85 has 45 wood quarter. there, 85 wood treasure is quite huge. Uh, it is rather easy to get as well. 
Now, I just got out of curiosity there. Now, uh, Shimraz versus Farad, it was 3-0. What did uh, Shimraz use in the third match? Which civilization? Um, was it Germany? Good question. <laughs> no, I think it wasn't Germany. It, I, th I think it was... Uh, French? Wait, the third map is uh, Siberia. So yes. I have to go back in time here. Um, Siberia. <laughs> no, that's okay My memory if you kind of uh, abandons me here. Um, what did he play? He played. Um, it's uh, fine if you don't remember. I'll look back on <laughs> this it. Is, no big deal. This is shit. How can another? I'm sure it'll come back to you. Um, okay. Anyway, so since uh, Chal got the 85 wood and he's playing uh, the French. <clears throat> he should be able to research hunting dogs quite easily. I wasn't sure if he cut the wood or not, but he should definitely be able to uh, get that right away. Yeah. And he rose did sc scout the. Uh, he did get 30 coin. He does have 100 coin there. Yeah, and Chalgon now uses crack shot on the 40 wood on the left side here, so uh, also gonna take that. Yeah, quite a bit of quite a bit of wood here from the French player. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, uh, sorry, you're right, uh, Shimra's used German, he went for the 4th age thing versus the French of Fart, so yeah. He no, I German. wasn't sure if he used German, but I look at the description of the game, he started. He said he started with a TP, so I thought it was Germany, that yeah. was just a guess, but alright, very interesting. But I felt that Fart uh, made a few mistakes there, but uh, it could have been a little right. closer, if not a win. But anyway, uh, next to, yeah. back to this match, Chao picking up 30 coin as well, he has a very nice uh, lineup of treasures uh, grabbed here so far. And heroes, yeah, of course, he has only one scout available, so he also has to scout the map, not just go for treasures, but definitely a small advantage there for Chell. What we do Absolutely. have, by the way, is this 205 foot treasure being on the side of heroes, something he can take in, in a little bit, perhaps, with some Cossacks and Musketeers, maybe. Now, uh, Chell does have uh, four, four courier wall on gold, while uh, the Russian player has three villages on gold, so that perhaps could... Um, Initialize uh, probably a French or a French Cav start, uh, Hussar start perhaps, semi fast fortress yeah. from the French player and for the Russian player, um, a defensive or aggressive blockhouse. He does have some villagers that are going in the forward, so we could see an aggressive blockhouse with musketeers. Yes, uh, well, it, this playstyle of heroes is, uh, I think, is best described as uh, first of all weird, but uh, that can be positive as well. The thing is that. He often goes for a little bit of a uh, late blockhouse, as you see here, still no blockhouse up. But going then for a little bit more of economy, uh, doing steel traps pretty early and from there on boom and mass hard. Uh, that's why we now see the three villagers only just now going for a blockhouse there. Look at this. Uh, Chao could even send Man or something to deal with this if he wants to. Uh, anyway, uh, he will get this blockhouse up. I would like to see him using this fourth villager as well. <coughs> He's now going to join the party there. Uh, so he yeah, it looks like control. he is definitely, yeah, if you want to just zoom in on there, looks like he's taking his five minute break, or he was. Um, now in terms of the forward blockhouse there, uh, Vinny, it, if you want to send Minutemen, you have to scout it first, right? Then he hasn't scouted it. He had the French, scout of there. course, does have two scouts. The French has and, had uh, to scout with the villagers, so he knew that the villagers were coming. Oh, he did scout it, okay. Yes. Um, I would have definitely uh, sent the Minutemen in this case. Uh, five Cossacks uh, popping out for heroes there, <coughs> of course coming from a town center because the blockhouse wasn't finished yet. But he will be able to get the second hunt of Chal, and actually that's very weird because as soon as you see these villagers coming forward, if I were Chal, I would immediately try to hurt back this hunt towards my town center because now you lose it. Okay, heroes is just scouting here. I think he scouted the stable behind his base. Yes. Perhaps like Heroes is thinking Chal will be pulling off the same strategy here as he did on Great Plains. Yeah, I agree. And that looks like also what Chal is indeed more comfortable with. And also, of course, on this map you have an additional tower available as well for defense. So it looks like indeed that's what he's, that's what he's going to go for. However, the Fast Fortress on this map is more viable because of the barriers in the tower mentioned earlier. Yeah, and they're using since, the again. And since the Fortress is more viable on this map, I don't think Russian should be going too aggressive here. Yeah, he wants to delay him as much as possible, and if he can, of course, delay these villagers from gathering, they are now already like 20 seconds not gathering. That's still okayish for Russia, while he still kills off two cavalry and one uh, has only half HP left. I think this was quite an even trade, uh, to be honest, uh, because of the resource uh, gathering lost, re resource gathering time lost by uh, by Chell. I don't think it was an even trade. Um, well. If you think about it this way, he did lose a lot of musketeers, and it was only a few seconds off those villagers. Um, he lost three musketeers, I believe, and two are low, one is low HP. 
Uh, he's coming in again, uh, of course, trying to use the Cossacks on the Hussars and then putting the low HP Cossack back and now losing the Musketeers as well on the Hussars. Finally, Charles bringing in his hero, which will help out a lot. And again, using his villagers, not getting any coin then. And now, me and man popping out, and that means that he will clean this up for sure. Yeah, that was a good positioning there, not bad. He did set 700 it. coin that can perhaps yeah. take him straight to Fortress Age. It looks like the uh, hero is just gonna stay here and deal with his madman rather than waiting for them to, uh, to be low on HP. He's microwing pretty decent here, focus firing on different minimum as you see to take them out as most as efficient as possible. Uh, and they will take out the last one, as that means that he can still uh, harass the French guy. And actually from here on he will just be able to keep under pressure with making more musketeers, so... Yeah, Charles is gonna have to make some Hazaras to deal with this. He's gonna because, lose uh, one villager there. This is the first villager going down for Chell. Yeah, Charles is gonna have to send some Hazaras because those Stratlets, they don't die at the town center fire because of the range resistance. The villager, yes, he barely saved the last villager on time, by the way. Uh, I would really like him to focus this hero one and get you 45 XP, which he really needs to have on the shipment in the third age. And he is using his villages a lot, but of course that's not what you can do for a long time, as we both covered uh, already uh, several times here. I mean, I'm looking at the score, his economy is looking really good. His economy is looking very, very nice. Yeah, but that's because, of course, he had the 700 coin shipment, so it is now going to be uh, kind of flattling out... Uh, because all his villagers are hiding in the town center, so it will just be a flat line from here. While Heroes, in the back of this, putting on this pressure, is still making villagers three at, three at a time constantly. And yeah, he's not even using 8 Crossbowmen either. I mean, maybe you should have used 8 Crossbowmen in conjunction in, uh, together with the, uh, the SSRs, for example. Um, but he still wants to go for the third age and play it out from there with his crochet love that he has uh, for the units. I think, I think what Chal is doing is fine. Because of that t uh, tower fire and town center fire, yeah, and plus square to buy HP and range attack, indeed. I think it's okay. The game is not over so far. It might look like Heroes is winning, but that's not the case. It's just an equal game. Oh, not death. at all. I, I'll Chow put the favor in Chow. I'll definitely put the favor in Chow here. Uh, however, um, Heroes is getting a ton of XP just popping off that Explorer multiple yes, times. Uh, definitely, yes. And he is now going to focus fire on these villages, I think, with low HP. Will he get one? No, Chell pulls them back on yeah. time. But there are so we, many low HP villages. Uh, he pulls that one back in town center on time as well. Very good micro. We've we seen earlier, uh, Chell's villager micro is actually quite nice. Yes. I mean, he has. I don't think he's lost many villages here. He and he's doing a very so good job popping those low health ones inside. A lot of them are low HP. And he's now yeah. going for this hunt on the left side, and we see Heroes is adding a second blockhouse, that is really what he's often doing. I would really like to see him adding a stable as well, because you need a stable for his friends in the third age, and of course to raid as well. He has scouted his left side, so he knows that that's the only place where Chal can get <coughs> food at this point. I think Chal is better off in this position at 9.30 than he was on the Great Plains map. I think he is, because that tower fire was huge. Yeah, but on the other hand... Um, if Heroes is not gonna waste his 50 Musketeers he did before, uh, I'm not sure if I can say it best, but similar at least. He should put the Musketeers in melee mode because he's gonna lose them anyway, as he's now finally doing so. Yeah. And put uh, his uh, cavalry back as you see there, yeah. Musketeer chasing it, but without success there. Not gonna get it down. Well, perhaps we're going to see another Corsair mass here with some uh, skirmishers, a sh skirmisher shipment just now from that tower. Yeah, but the two blockhouses I... will be a really nice defense and that means that he doesn't have to worry about anything until cannons come out. <laughs> yeah, he's going, scout... a lot. he's going to scout that double blockhouse and uh, move back. Yeah, and he's going in for a raid now and that he will, give, he will get a very nice raid off. No villager upgrade there. Uh, he has a scout of course in position to spot these villagers there. And the musketeers are coming back to deal with this but they will be a little bit late. Lose the Curse Air Raid is one of a kind because they have area attack. Yes. And they don't bump into each other. You just need a couple of them. I'm not sure why this villager was not going into the tower because now he's going to lose his villager also. Uh, uh, no, he saved that last one. Oh, he saved? No, he's, he's dead there. It's next to the house. On the. But there's no stable up yet. We saw 700 coin. Maybe Heroes decides to age up from here <coughs> instead of the last game going for an H2 mess. Uh, might be interesting. We see that Chow is nicely moving around here, letting the two blockhouses just there, gathering around up on the map on the left side, and trying to push on the heart of Hero's base where he is gathering his food there, as we saw the earlier raid coming in. Yeah, it's a very hard composition for Russian to deal with, to deal with Skirmisher Corsair. He just needs a stable. Without a stable, he's not going to get this, so... Uh... 
Even if he had a stable. Okay, it looks like he's going Fortress himself. Yes, good choice there, I think. Uh, definitely be able to better deal with the French in the, in the Third Age. Uh, regarding now, in Third cannons, Age, he does have Manchus. Manchus um, and Opry and Cannons as, sh as military unit shipments. Yeah, we see, by the way, that Hero's economy is a little bit better now because he has a little bit more villages, and of course he was harassing Chell so much early on. Uh, but indeed, this is still uh, an, a quite equal game. Now, I was thinking, since Heroes doesn't have a stable, and he has a lot of villagers on gold, <coughs> do you think perhaps he could be sending Manchu? Yeah, I think actually he used his villagers on gold to upgrade his musketeers, as we saw that just uh, being upgraded and just make a few uh, musketeers still. He has a lot of villagers on food, uh, a lot more than on gold, so I think this is too few from Manchu at this point. But of course, a Manchu shipment would be very nice. Uh, so we have to wait. You, you see, he's Manchu making more, more musketeers at that time. But he can't push into these skirmishes. Chell can just micro his skirmishes with using the range. You definitely need yeah. your cannons or your. Oh, there we have the cannons finally. But you definitely need your cannons or your Cossacks. And now he has to be really good uh, at micro Okay, range. nice composition here by heroes. But uh, even better he does for Chell. Exactly, Derek Chell has two cannons of himself. So that's going to be a micro battle between cannons. And heroes will spot the cannons of Chell now. So he definitely has to be. Ooh, I think he's very not... Very nice, very nice, very careful, steady. He doesn't know very the steady angles. Here. Oh, there we have it, two shots there from Shell, first cannon going down. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, <clears throat> now he's got two cannons compared to none. Yes. The thing is, because Heroes was on the aggressive, he didn't have the line of sight that Chow did. As soon as those cannons come in line of sight, you know what I'm saying, he was able to pop those cannons off. That is true, yes. But I think it was also a little bit of miss micro by Heroes uh, because he shot a town center, then moved towards the cannons, and I think he kind of misestimated the range as well. He had some musketeers to sp yeah to spot the cannons. I think it was a little bit of miss micro as well, but indeed. <coughs> well, let me tell you that misestimation is going to cost him a lot, and yeah. uh, and now he's able to pop out those blockhouses without uh, too much trouble. Of course, Heroes now will need the Manchus. There's one thing uh, that heroes can do. Well, he can chip the Manchus for sure. But maybe if he puts pulls the opera technique right from the blockhouse and kind of surprises the cannons, he might get to them and take them out. The Opry, um, th that's definitely an option. However, um, Child does have quite a few dragoon there, so I'm not sure exactly how uh, good that will work out. Well, and of I course think he will lo lose all his opera technique, but he will take them out before dragoons kill the opera technique. But if there are more Crochets gonna join, then of course he won't be able to do that anymore. Right, right. Finally, okay, a stable so coming up. Okay, so we see the blockhouse is just going down there. Yes. <coughs> and uh, of course, Heroes is going for a stable there in the back. And the and church as well, again. A church, yes. So we see a lot of villages on wood there. Well, a lot, semi lot. So he's gonna go for these Kalmuks again. And of course, these Kalmuks can be used for his Crochets, but they also are doing a very good job functioning as Dragoons to take out the cannons in range. Limit of a musketeer scout there to see where Chell is moving his army. Uh, we'll get sniped off there. Other musketeer scout to see if there are any villages gathering gold there. And there we have the six Oplichnik shipment, but it's going for a raid rather than being used in the battle here. He might still, of course, come back to the back later on if he needs to. But I think that he's going to go to uh, to his Kalmuk's option uh, to deal with his uh, army. But really, he needs to mix in the Cossacks. And he has to be very careful with his uh, musketeers. They will yeah, this is uh, this is scary. This is scary. He and loses so much already. The thing is with Russian musketeers, they're so low health. Yes. And those cannons just they pop them off, no problem. Yeah, he lost a lot there, way too much. Uh, he's yeah, trying to micro back as much as possible, them. but it's going to cost him a lot. Yeah, if um, not the game, indeed. We have a raid here, picking off three villages there near uh, near Charles Town Center, but he's losing all his musketeers there. And what does he have available then? Of course, the Kalmuk still, but he has not even a blockhouse up near his town center, so. He can't train new musketeers. He is only uh, limited to, to training uh, cavalry units yeah. from a stable. He, he's lost at least uh, 1,500 resources down for zero in return. Yeah, all uh, those he killed off a few you know. so it's not completely zero, but yeah, he lost way too much. Very inefficient battle there. The Opry are now going to kill some villages, but the Kurishais will deal with Opry. Yeah, the Opry will kill four or five villas, maybe six, but uh, he will lose all the Opry there in return. Yeah. He, he did kill more than six. I'm surprised that uh, actually the Opry do very nice, but uh, it won't be enough. It definitely won't be enough because at this point, Heroes only has a stable. He killed nine villages in total, by the way. But yes, and nine villages. Yes, in total. <coughs> wow, nine quarters of is huge. Um, 
it, for free heroes, he's the only guy stable in a church, as I was just saying. So uh, perhaps we could see the Dragoons yeah. and more Cossack, uh, which we can see a raid right now. Yeah, he, this Kurashe barely missed the villages, but he's now going to give chase there. And I think he saw that barely in his line of sight in the, the corners of his eye. And there, these six villages of heroes will definitely die. There's a there's a raid there at the top of the map. Yeah, by the, the Cossack, Bois. Yeah. And also a raid coming in on the villages left side here for heroes. So both are going to lose five villages, but of course, French losing five villages is worse than the Russian losing five villages. There's a town center fire of 90, but it is focused fired on the wrong cannon, the one with the most HP. That is not good, of course. Uh, you should focus fire the low HP one first. And actually, I'm waiting for these uh, Kalmuks to pop out. Uh, heroes is doing a good job. Uh, whoa. Saving his villages, in fact. I believe he lost one village, but he saved the other ones from the Kurashes. Well, of course, he was uh, doing I a think good job keeping Chal busy. Chal knows, Chal knows that he's going to send some Cossack and the Dragoons, and uh, is going to pop off the cannons, so the cannons need immediate defense. However, he, it's too late, and yes, he will lose he's them. Lose him. He's still, this is not a battle hero should take. He should definitely go back now right away. Uh, he loses his Cossacks, unfortunately, but he needs more units to deal with his Dragoons. Of course, Kalmuks are very nice, but Dragoons are very good as well, and he is just outnumbered. Yeah, he did upgrade the, the Dragoons as well with the hit points. Yeah. Uh, they have uh, 270. Mian men popping out down now to, uh, to kind of help this battle, but now the Kalmuks are not in use, so the Mian men are fighting alone. That, of course, will not uh, win you the game there. Uh, hero still, whoa, he has to be very careful on this gold mine, he's now returning his villages, but he still has no, uh, no blockhouse up, so he's only still limited to, ch to training just, uh, cavalry units. Oh, there, finally we have a blockhouse coming up again, but no map control, we see even Chal making a barracks and gathering from the gold mine on the hero's side. Yeah, heroes is also on berries where Chal is on hunt. Yeah, Chell shipping now 1k wood, he's just gonna expand his economic advantage and probably go for another town center. The village account though is 36 for, for heroes and 23 for Chell. So in economy, it's still quite uh, quite same. Yeah, I'm quite surprised. But whoa, the, look uh, at the right be, bottom side, huge rate. Losing a lot of villages there. Ah, uh, wow. Wow, that's... Uh, and that is uh, actually... That's one change in numbers, that's for sure. Yes. He lost like 8 villages or something. Just uh, as we're looking at the village account, he's gonna lose a ton. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, yeah. in this case, I was really thinking uh, heroes could come back because of the hero, uh, because of the villager uh, count advantage. However, uh, I don't think that's the case anymore. Yeah, I agree. And heroes just has no map control. He uh, he can't even gather something. And now even Chal is wondering where he has some base left uh, or why he's not out of his game yet. Uh, five mad men holding strong there with one Cossack in front. <laughs> so. Uh, well, Ch Ch Charles should realize that he's on berries and uh, does not necessarily need coin. He could just go berries and uh, just make musketeers. Yeah, to be honest, Charles can just charge in there and finish his game right away. Uh, I mean, uh, Heroes has not much left. He uh, managed to save his villages while Charles was going for this herd on the left side. Uh, of course, he saw it was a dead animal there. Heroes saved his villages on time and Charles is building a town center there on the right top. But, I mean, just go in and finish his game. Um, another blockhouse yeah, coming up. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what he's looking for. He only has one gold mine there in the back, and uh, another one in the front. Yeah, so he's now going in for the final push there. And uh, yeah, heroes definitely. He wants to build another blockhouse, but it's just not enough. Yeah, for this huge mess, it doesn't matter. He will just keep surrounding it, and with the economy that he has behind it, gathering all around the map, he will just be able to spam even more units than he's losing, so no problem there. Yeah, so uh, 40 score gap now at the moment, and this is just... Uh, Waiting it out, yeah. I think, till Hero says, okay, uh, I give up, and uh, you win. 1k uh, wood ship there, but, uh, and the 5 musketeers in melee mode. Uh, gonna be able to take out one Kurashe, but uh, that's all they uh, they do. He's, he's definitely not going to be able to gather the, that, that wood uh, treasure there, or the shipment. The one you advantage he has is that Kurashe, I mean, Dragoons don't, don't seize that fast, but... It's Heroes did pull off a good battle here, but uh, similar to the first game, he did change 
his build order a little bit with Fortress earlier, which I thought was a good decision. But his unit composition and uh, his micro on the cannons, I think, what caused him the game. Yeah, I agree with you there. The micro on the cannons was just not not the best. And also, he decided to push out there. Watchal was already in the Fortress Age for a while. I think he should have waited for a little bit more Musketeers also. Uh, and uh, definitely, I don't understand why he adds a, a stable so late. Because he sees now twice Kurashe Skirmish coming out from this player. So you just make cavalry and will be able to better deal with it. At least your Musketeers in the back will deal more damage because they don't die off so fast versus Kurashe Skirmisher. But definitely, at least in the, the cannons uh, was the main uh, changing here. The main change here. One yeah, and a half cannon the, left. The game Control. changer. Absolutely, I I agree one hundred percent. Because right when you have a two cannon advantage, Vinny, he, he took out those blockhouses, no trouble at all. Pushed them back, no map control, and really, you know. And then he lost his musketeers, uh, maybe a pack of twenty of musketeers, very inefficiently. And so in this case, it really, uh, really put him out. So that means that uh, Chell now uh, takes a 2-0, two, 2-1, two, sorry, lead. 2-1, to one, right. In this best of three. Best of five, sorry, mixing mixing everything up here. Now, how's that scoreboard working out for you? Uh, going good so far. Yeah? Yep. Do we have any questions of uh, what the score is? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I updated <laughs> it right away. <laughs> <laughs> You have the chat open. Are you taking a look? Uh, I have it open. Yes, and I take a look now. I'm just going to take a quick two-minute break here. Okay, so okay, the so. rules, of course, regarding you know, can't play winning civilization twice in a row, etc., only applies to the uh, really OP strong civilizations. So we can see another Russia versus French, and it looks like we will indeed see another Russia versus French here. Uh, and of course, this is going to be New England, the fourth map, so uh, Heroes can definitely go for his uh, water uh, boom again if he wants to do so. And we'll see how Chal will deal with this uh, this time. I definitely think that Chal won't go for the same BO if he scouts Heroes going so defensive. Uh, then I assume that Chal would go for a fortress, spamming Corrachets and cannons from there like he did in the previous game. And using his cannons, of course, to, uh, to work on the blockhouses and stuff like that to not give Heroes such an easy time. Um, Uh, not an easy time to, to, to gather all the resources. of change of civilization as we've seen there on the Saguenay map um, he didn't do too well versus the Russian player of course I felt that the Russian player had uh, an advantage in that matchup yeah yeah just if you went over this when you were away but we have indeed the same thing that we can expect from heroes uh, however I hope Chow will mix it up and go for fast forties with cannons earlier as the, what he did last time. Or even workout. changing the civilization because he does have the option. Yeah. 
definitely. Now, I'm not sure. Did Chow win twice in a row, or he won the first game, right? Uh, yes, that's right. He didn't win twice in a row. So he, no, no, he's, no. Uh, Heroes won the second. So Chow <laughs> didn't win twice in a row. So he's able definitely to pick Eriqua or Ottomans and, um, you know, whatever the case. I'm yeah. not hoping that he does, but that's an open option for him. Yeah. Yes. Of course, we would be more interested in uh, in observing and uh, watching the European uh, civilizations go at it. Okay, of course, it looks like it is the same. Um, Russian versus French on the New England map, which is the fourth match in this best out of five series here in the round of 16. Um, for the PK clan, matter of fact, it's now $1,950 in the general pot, thanks to our most recent sponsor of $150 extra. Okay, for this uh, tournament, that puts the total at $2,650. Now, looking at the top of the map, so for this tournament, that is right. <clears throat> Say again, for this tournament, that is yes, absolutely okay. $150 extra for this tournament. You got it. It's uh, very exciting. Uh, we an extra 150 on the original 1800. So that puts the total at 2650, as I just mentioned. Now back to this match. Um, we here have at the top of the match we have a Chal playing as French in orange, and he does have one close by mine there. He does have one mine to the side, starting berries of course on New England as usual, and some hunt there in the back. Now I'm just hoping he comes around and scouts that courier de bois looks very easy to get with the black bears. Now looking at uh, heroes on the other side of the map, he's playing um, Russians again, as he did for uh, the rest of the series. He's um, He's got one starting uh, mine, it's a bit forward there, and uh, he does have a starting hunt. And looking at his hunt, matter of fact, it looks actually terrible. He's got, uh, his other herd is way there, right in front of the trees. And so is his other herd, so yeah, in of fact, course. he can just rehost here. This this map looks really shit for him. It does. It really does indeed, and uh, I agree one hundred percent. I'm not sure exactly what Heroes is thinking. Perhaps he's going for the two minutes. Um, well, I think he doesn't really how you say it realize it or think of it to rehost. This is the thing about tournament games. You gotta you gotta know when to rehost and how to rehost. You know what I'm saying? People read the rules. They understood it. They know they can rehost it. And uh, I would rehost in, in a second here. It's not unplayable. It's not unplayable. I'm looking at the hunt now. He could herd, but a rehost is definitely uh, an option. Yeah, on the other hand, though, we see that Chell has one herd here and one in the back. I mean, his third is, yeah, they're in better range, but it's not that much better. He doesn't have a fort or so close, so it's not the best map for heroes also because yeah, of gold mine. Yeah, and I took that in consideration. I'm just thinking, you know, both of these players have two other herds, and they're quite a distance. And so uh, I'm not putting, a, you know, an unplayable match here. It is definitely uh, something they can play out if they wish. Yeah, meanwhile we see that uh, Chal got the 80 foot there, and he now found finds this uh, second 80 foot treasure. And Heroes is now working on a bear cup instead of scouting the map and going for uh, other treasures. That's interesting. Yeah. And Heroes does have a, a warrior there. I'm not sure if you mentioned it already. He can use yeah. that to harass the yeah. opponent's units. Of course, uh, we've seen that on the second game map there. Yeah, though yeah. versus French, it's of course not the best since French have a lot of range resistance. So you won't do that much of harass versus other civilizations. That's true, and you'll probably use it to gather treasures. Now, at the top of the map, I see 95 wood. That's also a nice one. Yep, indeed. And I'm not sure if Hero uh, Shell scouted it. He definitely scouts it now and might go for it rather than this 80 foot treasure. 90 wood, 95 wood, of course, being one of the best treasures here on the map. <coughs> and he does, there he goes for it. Definitely. And as soon as I scout a treasure like that, I would immediately take my villagers off wood. Uh, there's no need to keep them on there. Yeah, though he might think that he might uh, get. Uh, there's always the option, of course, that your opponent steals it, but indeed. Uh, yeah, d yeah. De de depends on how you look at it. If if your opponent steals it and you got your villages from wood, then you are very much delayed in your upgrade that you want to do in the place of mines and uh, steel trap stuff. So sometimes well, it's better to save than sorry and get the 95 wood in addition. He he does move some villages now, so perhaps uh, 
he has enough at this point and uh, put we the rest it, on food. Yeah, we see it. Heroes is uh, bringing up a dock again on the right side. Uh, so going yeah, for water course. again. Probably going to do course, the same thing. Of course, we could probably see that same strategy as he pulled off on Sagane. Um, I, I knew it was coming. He's probably going to make a, a, a what's it called? That blockhouse there. Yeah, a defensive blockhouse. He's as not well that as much of a of a wall player, but we see sometimes people walling in this, walling off this part from the pond to the to the ocean here. Uh, being of course uh, able to prevent any uh, raids coming in from that side and just slowing down your opponent. Also of this course when Chal comes with the two cannons. This map without a doubt is much more defensive. You can just put a wall there by the trees and the cliffs makes it much more easier. Yeah we see that Chal is now going for two trading posts. That's already a change up in his build uh, compared to last time. And uh, I believe Chal no, yeah, Chal f found uh, he scouted now, and he found that Heroes was already uh, uh, was had already one dock built, and he's now going to make his blockhouse there as defensive position for both the herd and of course to uh, to fight the sea there. Yeah, he scouted just in time there before his scout died, so he doesn't know for a fact where his blockhouse and dock is at this point. Yeah. So uh, perhaps Chal could go straight um, semi fortress, semi fast fortress. And indeed, even though uh, Chal did last time scout docks quite late, even if he was scouted a little bit earlier, uh, he already sent his 700 wood shipment and was kind of going for this wreck stables plan. And now he has the option to just send four villagers or maybe even 700 coin and go from there. I expect four villagers. A third trading post coming up, so he's just saying like, okay, if you go for a sea boom, I go for a fortress eight with the trading post behind it, and boom from there. That's correct, and I I am surprised as you are that he's going for that third trade post and perhaps even a fourth and upgrade the trade route even. You're surprised or not surprised? I missed that. I, I no, I'm very surprised. Very surprised. Okay. Yeah, I think it's actually a good choice because. Uh, four trading posts or even three on this map I mean this trade route is very very short and the trading posts are very close to each other so you get a ton of XP or resources compared to other maps so I think uh, going for a trading post uh, boom and then to the third age is, is definitely a really good option here if you see that the Russian guy is so defensive on water but now Heroes is pushing out trying to take out a trading post so uh, see what he gets done there as we've seen before, he does have double dock and uh, perhaps make a little aggression with. Um, uh, sorry, heroes will remain in age two, while Chal will uh, go straight to fortress. It looks like with the triple trade posts. Yeah, and Chal he did be build the two houses, but he didn't build a stable. He instead made the third trading post, so he has not even a unit to deal with the uh, musketeers from heroes. So if heroes adds like five more musketeers, he has ten total. Uh, then he will definitely be able to take out one or two trading posts. I don't think that was the smartest idea to build a third trading post. He could have perhaps made that stable and made five, uh, five SR to yeah, start raiding. Yeah, five SR seemed better indeed. Because, and I'll tell you why, it's because heroes hunts are very exposed, right? Very, very exposed. He should have known that right at the start of the game. We're well, not at the start of the game when he scouted his base, right? So if he would have made a five SR and went to fortress, I think that would have been the better option. Yeah, uh, Chal did upgrade the state uh, trading post to stagecoach, and we now see that heroes is going to take a trading post. Uh, I don't really like a trading post there because it's straight in the way between him and Chal and of course when Chal edges up he will take it out very fast. But okay, taking trading post nonetheless will give you an advantage. I would like to see him uh, hunting this, this herd towards the o ocean there, towards the blockhouse. Uh, just to get a uh, hunt already closer because you need some uh, animals from uh, land as well, not just sea. But he's not doing that yet. Stables up for Chal now. And there he reached the fortress eight. I want to see, fast. I want to see heroes going straight for that second trade post now, and perhaps uh, rebuilding them since uh, Cal um, upgraded the the trade route for him. Yeah, it is indeed quite a big investment, and because what he also could have done is, for example, going for a semi FF with uh, Rex and making some musketeers, then he would at least be able to defend first the, the musketeers from heroes. And now he invested a lot in this trading post, but he loses one, and he's going to lose a second one. I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, and then heroes will take two training posts benefiting from the upgrade of Chell. So yeah, uh, maybe a semi know, with musketeers would be better. The thing is with upgrading the trade post is that it's the longest technology to upgrade for its cost. Yeah. That's and um, to have 400 resources invested in something like this and your opponent's just taking the trade posts from you, it, it's going to hurt you quite badly. Also assuming heroes... Um, economy is unharassed at this point yeah we have luckily a stable coming up from heroes I'm very very happy to see that 
uh, as we pointed point out before. He will take out this trading post and can raid with his five Cossacks. And these five Cossacks are, oh no, I was about to say they're going to catch these skirmishes, but there are five Kurochets. Of course, it is Chell. Five Kurochets coming behind it. Yeah, so Cursair should be able to block them, no problem. And he will go back. Yeah, I think he should keep raiding with his Cossacks, but uh, go back with the Musketeers. I hope he is, but he's not going to do so. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to engage here. That should be interesting. I mean, they not. could. No, it's good for Chell. Heroes should not engage here. Okay, well, I guess he doesn't have much of a choice because yeah, I. True. Chell went for it. But uh, Chell's uh, cavalry was a pretty uh, pretty much forward, where the skirmishers were not able to do any damage so far, so not the best uh, position for him there. We see five musketeers idle in the middle of the map. And uh, the uh, Cossacks are not raiding yet. Okay, it's good he noticed those musketeers. I was hoping he wouldn't pick them off again like the previous games we watched yeah, there. Yeah, indeed. They are going to return to the base very fast, but they might still lose, he might still lose them. First, the Courchet is giving chase and the Dragoons in the back. But he will be able to rejoin with the rest of his army. But he definitely needs more Cossacks out uh, to deal with the skirmishes in the back. But okay, he is going back for now. Some uh, Musketeers on the right kind of uh, miss Rally there. Uh, he's gonna lose them. Uh, unfair and fortunate there. Good micro by Chal, uh, uh, splitting his fire, not on, all on one Musketeer, but splitting it up. And well, you know, in a game like this. A game like this, at this high level play, heroes shouldn't just have five musketeers in the open like that. It, it wasn't needed. A bit sloppy there. And he should have been more careful. We see now that he is taking his third trading post, and of course Chell still has one left, but uh, he's now trying to take out the trading post of heroes. So they're yeah, be the they're going of back and forth here. with these trading posts here. Uh, <laughs> Hero ships 700 coins, so uh, seeing that he doesn't make many more units, I think he is going to age up. And I think that is exactly the right choice here, to get those cannons of your own and to upgrade your musketeers. He is going to engage this army, okay, interesting. Uh, I think he has to be very careful, maybe he wants to delay it for one more XP, but he already got that one. Oh, there's a second on the way, he will get the XP from it for sure. And Chal oh. is pulling back, yes. Chell is quite heavy on Dragoon uh, in this game here. He just made more Dragoons. Yep. And indeed. that's interesting because he likes to go heavy on Cursair usually versus Russia. We see a and frigate. And he did ship the frigate. Indeed, yeah, popping out there. That will be a very, very nice defense and that means that the hero has to pull wow. his army right away. Wow, that's popping a huge amount of units. I can't believe it. And he probably will even lose all those musketeers. Yeah, he that's tends crazy. to save them now if he pulls them back in range mode and runs, but... He does not save them, and then again he loses 50 musketeers with the 5 uh, before, as you mentioned, where, where he lost them in a sloppy way. And there he's gonna lose Cossacks also to the frigate. We should move around, that's, uh, that's not... Uh... I mean, I really want to put the advantage here for the Russian player, because he he does have the water, but the thing is with this map, it's not like Saguenay. Uh, Chal has easy access to the water here. He has his own end, and that's the thing with New England. It's not yeah. a... you can't really control the water that easily as you would on Saguenay. That's true. Also, uh, the water boom is like a semi boom because he has three docks, but he doesn't have that many boats out. If you check the water, I would expect to have more oh, villages oh, on the water. Yeah, a frigate pop there. Here. We got we got two yeah. frigates there on the palm. Indeed. And the frigate from Heroes will live longer, it seems, and that would be very nice to be have uh, have another additional <laughs> advantage there in, in the pond defending his base. Chow is bringing in his army yeah. and two cannons. We, we, yeah, the cannons are quite nice, but however, I think Heroes already won. Uh, that water, that small water battle there. Well, he is, to be honest, I'm maybe he would even be better off uh, focus firing the cannon. I'm not sure. No, actually, it'd be probably better to take out the frigate. Uh, so, what is Hero going to do now? He needs to have his own cannon soon, but of course, he just shipped his frigate, so he has no shipment for now. Yeah, heroes needs to be careful here, uh, yeah. not to lose too much. He just loses he is, his hero to the cannons. Of course, Chal is, is smart. He does have a nice unit composition. Dragoons, some Cursair slow down the units. And good and, micro. Uh, so, so, and good micro, yeah. And, In fact, he could even target nice a blockhouse on the on frigate, perfect. and he's doing just so, by the way. So this blockhouse will take out the frigate if Chal is not paying attention there. And no man man yet. Hero is also always waiting so long for his man man there. And here comes another five curse there yes. just to break the battle even more. And only one blockhouse there. And we have villagers running th near that market. I think Chow noticed them. Yeah, he's gonna go after them indeed. But he lost his frigate to to the blockhouse, so that's a small uh, a small win there for heroes. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely going to impact a little bit in terms of map control. Now, essentially, heroes is just freely 
uh, taking all the whales on the water here, all the fish and the whales. So he should be able to have a, a good supply of food for quite some time. Yeah, Chell is just going for his mass. We see that Heroes, by the way, is still ahead in the economy. And Chell yeah, is and just going for mass. There. Yeah, he, indeed. He picked off. Charles is going for mass crusades here again with some skirmishes in the back. These crusades block off everything. They block off uh, Cossacks. They uh, are good meat shields versus musketeers. And then some skirmishes in the back will just deal with any musketeers in front there. He also added a Rex now, by the way. And he still has his cannons in the, in the center. And he's going to take over the trading route again. Taking the, 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 the third trading post. Leaving the second one of heroes alive so far. Interesting. Not taking it out. And now he's going to push on the water side, it seems, to go there with all his army and his two cannons. And Heroes, in fact, he can ship two cannons, but the problem is that he doesn't have anything to protect those cannons. So actually shipping two cannons at this point would be not a wise idea. However, he is building a church again and, of course, getting a lot of wood. So we will see Kalmus coming up anytime soon. Oh, there they are from the town center. And if he would now have two cannons, of course, he doesn't have a shipment available. But then at least he has something to protect the cannons. Yeah, I would he like won't have a shipment available for some time. So in this case, yeah. what I would do... Is I would use the dragoons to flank the cannons. Yeah, I was thinking uh, the same, or the or the cossacks as he's trying to do so now maybe. Uh, did he use his madman in, in the earlier battle in the end or still not? Uh, you know what? I think I've noticed it. I, I wasn't really paying a hundred percent attention. By the way, we see very nice micro from Chell. He might have he, called Minutemen already. Okay. He uh, attacked the, the Dragoons of, of Heroes in front, but he also moved one or two Corsairs to the flanks to make sure the Dragoons couldn't easily walk back. So the a good smart job, job there by heroes, just picking off the cannon in the back. Very well done there. Yeah, with the Cossacks, yes. However, uh, heroes did lose quite a bit of military and uh, his shipment of Kalmuks. Yes, he has only two Kalmuks left, uh, very low HP, of course. Uh, he's now going to make new Cossacks, but these two Cossacks here should be turning around. Oh, they're going to deal with the skirmish as well, while the rest is giving chase to the, uh, the two Kalmuks there. Um... Of course, the longer this fight goes, uh, the less food there is around on the map. And we see that now even uh, Charles is taking the middle food there, the middle herd. Hero still has some left on this side. And Charles is building a town center now on the Hero's map side. Looking very, very grim for uh, Heroes, even though he has sea control. Uh, yeah, what can he do? He still has two cannons available. But of course, two cannons are not the most useful shipment versus all these crochets and dragoons. I don't like that town. Oh, oh that's Charles town center placement. Okay. I don't really like it. I think I would have built that town center near the water there. Yeah, probably, yeah. It, you know where that barracks is for Chow? On the left, the right side of his yes. base? Yeah, I would have built the town center right there by the water, and perhaps an outpost. I would have made him suffer. Because um, a large portion of Hero's economy Hold is on there, the he's about to lose a lot of villages if you're not careful, because uh, he doesn't respond to it fast enough. Chal loses some villages to the Obdechnik, but Heroes loses just a few villages to the Kurishes there. And Heroes now making another blockhouse to get a really defensive position near his town center. He will save most of his villages, but not upgraded village HP yet. He could have saved more. And these villages are going to go the wrong way. Okay, so Chal is now just fighting his army, of course. It is in his advantage. I don't like it that Heroes is fighting here. He's greatly outmatched and not even... Yeah, he didn't, he didn't have numbers. to fight that battle. But... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what he's thinking. He's just making more and more Cossack. Perhaps he's got a ton of resources. I'm not sure what uh, what exactly the situation is. It does look like he's doing half decent though. He it has only 500 resources by the way, and Chal has 1500. So it's not like he. Oh, finally, man, man popping out. Okay. Of course, his two blockhouses like, do, do uh, damage. Chal has some idle army in his town. Yeah, they were dealing with the Oblichnik raid uh, right from before. Oh, okay, right. I didn't notice the, uh, the Opry raid. He, he, now he sends them in a minute, as you just mentioned it. Um, late, yes. That's interesting. I thought he sent them in a minute a long time ago. That's funny. And now Chow going for the third town center. Yeah, he's going to get his land economy uh, really, well, really good there. As well, Chow's going for that trade post, finally. Yes. Now, well, finally, a hero has just rebuilt it, I believe, a minute ago. But yeah, he's finally taking it and then can retake it himself. And look how many villagers he had in that town center garrison. Uh, That's yeah. around 20, 25 Way too many villages, indeed, sir. way too many. Uh, and still, not so many boats on, the, on sea. I mean, uh, his economy is now actually uh, in shambles. I mean, if you take a look at the village account, we see that Hero still has 55 villages compared to the 35 well, of Chell, but taking into account the rate. 
And what I would suggest for heroes kill. at this point, since he's already got the cannons, I would have suggested fast industrial. I would have suggested industrial right now. Not fast industrial, industrial in general. Because of the water, he could have made mortars and such. Yeah, but he's, uh, that could be an option, but he's not very experienced with that kind um, of play. He's not upgrading his musketeers yet. I would like to see him doing that anytime soon. Yeah, definitely. Upgrade the musketeers and have a bigger mass of them. As well as a nice combination of Cossack, I think should do okay. Yeah, but later on, of course, you also have to mix in some strats because only musketeers Cossacks will probably lose to Dragoon Courage still. Looking at the village account, now that's including, right, including fishing boats. It's right around 58 compared to 37 quarter de bois. Yeah, I so, just went over that indeed. It's quite the same actually. I mean, it's a little bit ahead of heroes because of the Corrado Bar gather so fast. And of course, Chal also has the upgrades on uh, on the market, I'm pretty sure. His cannons are going to be picked off there. Oh no, heroes. Uh, he didn't have, that, didn't have them on shoot mode and now he takes one shot on the scare machine. But uh, unfortunate there. Now he has nothing there, to deal with scare machines. There was nothing heroes could do about it. He did have the cannons exactly where he wanted them, right in a bunch of defensive buildings. But there's nothing he could do, he didn't have a big enough mass. Yeah, and no Cossacks, even though two stables, no Cossacks being made there. I mean, you would imagine heroes would have a ton of resources because all those boats. Well, I did um, a quick check, there is a lot of food available, but heroes is going for a mill instead of more boats on the water. Having only 30 wood uh, to invest in the villager on water, he goes for I, a mill. I don't prefer the mill whatsoever, I would have preferred yeah. maybe another extra 10 fishing boats. I don't get it. And move the villagers more towards the left, towards the water, and perhaps make a frigate um, on the water even. Yeah, I agree there, I don't like it. And we see another Kurishade yeah. rating coming in from the back, and that is yeah. probably going to be... If he moves I all his army there, he's going to catch it. I think this might cost him. Yeah. Cost him the game right now. He did have a good chance. If he made the frigate and just shift his villagers to the two different sides of the water there. Uh, but at this point he just lost too many villagers and he knows that. Yeah, plus the additional villagers that he managed to save will just be uh, hidden in his town center, not gathering any resources. But Shell now is just booming from three town centers and there's a very good economy there. We see that the village account is now almost equal, but of course the core of the bar gather faster. Uh, so yeah. I, I really mean it, you know, Heroes had a good, very good chance if he would have just moved his villages towards the water, but I guess, you know, that's a decision he didn't make, well, he I should think have that made. By now, Chal is already booming from three town centers, adding an artillery founder as well, so even if he moved there, I, th I would have, I would give the, the, the better uh, chance of winning to Chal already five minutes ago. Heroes lost so much and uh, not having enough e uh, sea boom out there. A lot of people like to underestimate the water and you'll be really amazed, but... Well, not sure what to say at this point. He, he does have uh, petards and he just wants, it looks like he just wants to end it. Oh yeah, there we, there we go indeed. Not for cannons, just for petards. Going to the town center and taking it out. His own dragoons are blocking his petards rather funny there. <laughs> and so the Stratus will be able to take out one petard at least. Uh, second one, in fact, no, they're gonna kamikaze themselves in the town oh, center. Oh wow, they do a ton of damage. Speed. Well, he's going to seize it, and there we go, it goes down. He will raid a little bit on the villages, but there are already Courachets in place there, and that means that he will uh, not make it here, and that he will lose this uh, this series, I believe, this game, and then this, this series. It was uh, uh, an interesting uh, series. We had Russia, French, the whole, the whole way. Um, it, it could, heroes definitely could have uh, came out on top here. Um. Yeah, I felt that uh, Heroes, of course, going for water, which he did quite okay, but I felt that he's a little bit inexperienced with the water, uh, I think. Because, first of all, what this comes down to a lot is that he boomed on water, but not enough. I think he should have had way more boats out earlier, with boats only costing like 30 wood, and thus having uh, way more resources to really What's spend out with the French gun. What, you, what he thought on water is that the, the fish is going to run out. Well, fish doesn't run out until maybe 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. So I'll just make even 10 extra fishing boats and really just get that huge pump of food because fishing boats are only 40, piece, uh, 40 a piece. Right? Exactly, and even now um, there's still like 3k food available on the sea or 5k in fact, something like that. I, I agree. There's a, really a bunch of fishing spots. So he, when you say he, he should have made more fishing boats, I agree 100%. And now at this point it's just a slaughterhouse. Uh, <laughs> yes. He's losing his villagers, his Cossacks, and uh, yeah, 
He still I'm has a mill sure. on the left side, but if you're going to mill when you still have a C control, that's just a 400 wood waste. So, uh, in my opinion, a few mistakes here, also by wasting some of his army units early on, by trying to uh, to push out maybe too far, too much, too far, when uh, Chell was in the third age. And also, indeed, the C, the C boom, not optimal, just uh, quite a big investment. But, well, of course it paid off, but it could have been uh, way more, uh, it could have been way better. Uh, in my opinion, but still he did uh, try to come back and uh, of course almost got to that But then uh, he also lost his cannons even versus the, the Gumas of Chao. <coughs> so good job there Yeah, well, you know people always tell me shoulda woulda coulda and uh, You know these are one of these things where that uh, that takes place um, I guess Chao was or heroes was probably thinking the fish was going to run out he didn't scout the whole sea. He didn't exactly know how much food was left. Um, yeah, we see that from minute 16, by the way. Chell already caught up in, in resource gathering, and he got more from minute 16 on. And that's actually not something that shouldn't happen if you go for a sea boom. <coughs> he so could have done better. He could have done better decision making where his cannons got shot off in the, in the Russian game on Siberia. Uh, just yep. these little things in general just cost him the game Indeed. and uh, I guess overall he got outplayed um, in terms of that yeah Chell played better also very good micro that he pointed out a few times there but uh, the decision making by heroes is something that still needs some uh, some adjustment I believe here and there for example going for an earlier stable or in, in last case going for a heavier water when you really go for the water investment and also, when you push out as Russia, you have to be really careful. If you have second age units, musketeers, if you push out and the other guy is in the third age and comes with courageous and just five skirmishers in the back, he's just going to completely annihilate your whole army. And that means that you should be really, really careful not wasting your army so early on the map. Uh, because that is just giving up map control very easy there. So, yeah, Sorry, Vinny. Well, it was good to, to be Joel. here. Yeah. <coughs> it was a pleasure to uh, commentate with you. Uh, if you want to go ahead about the games, that's no problem. No, I just wanted to... Uh